So here is our next function. It looks very similar to the one that we just saw, but it is also interesting for very different reasons. So if you look at the body of this function, the return statement in line 2, you can immediately see that this is again a function that returns x plus 1. But the difference is instead of being an int function that takes an int x and returns an int, this takes a different type called double. And double is one of two ways in which you can approximate real numbers. So you can think of this as the function from real numbers to real numbers. Uh, it takes a real number x and it returns x plus 1. Now I want to point out something important about this C code on line 2. If you look at this expression x plus 1, the value that is being returned, so we are adding x which is a double and we are adding 1. Now 1 is an integer, so this expression mixes types, right? So 1 is a constant but it's an integer constant. Now in mathematics this is not a problem because obviously the set of integers is a subset of the set of real numbers. So x plus 1 you can define plus uh, on real numbers and everything is fine. But in C uh, it's important to remember that in an expression like this, when it sees the constant 1, the computer recognizes that as an integer and when it sees the value x, the variable x, uh, since we have said that x is uh, a variable of type double, then uh, uh, it recognizes that as type double and so it says this is an expression of mixed types. So what happens when you have expressions of mixed types? Well, in this case, what happens is C does what we want it to do. Uh, and it does it through a process called implicit typecasting. We say that the constant 1, which is of type int, is implicitly typecast. Implicitly because we didn't say anything to the uh, computer, it did it for us. It guessed that what we wanted to do was really do uh, an addition on real numbers, which is different to addition on uh, integers. Uh, and so it says, okay, since I have an expression of mixed types, I will promote the int uh, to a double. So I will treat the constant 1, which is of type int, as if it was the constant 1.0, which uh, the computer understands as a double. So in this expression, the 1 is being implicitly typecast to uh, the double value, 1.0, which of course is the same thing mathematically, but it's important to remember that in the computer these are different. And in fact, some people uh, say, you know, if you are going to do uh, mixed expressions, it's better uh, to be clear about this. In fact, if you wanted to do uh, an addition of 1 here, uh, maybe you shouldn't even have used an int 1. Maybe you should have used this expression, which is x plus 1.0, which, as I said, the uh, computer understands 1.0 differently to 1. It treats 1.0 as if it was the double value 1. Uh, and then this is not a mixed expression anymore. Or uh, if you really had to use an int 1, you can do an explicit typecast and this is how you write that. So I'm just showing you uh, a facility that is there in the C programming language uh, where you as the programmer can explicitly, so unlike an implicit typecast, this is an explicit typecast. I am putting the uh, type that I want to change 1 to, I'm, say, I, I'm saying I want to change int 1 to double 1 and I'm saying you do that by explicitly typecasting the 1 as a double and then this will work. So obviously if you want to do it for something as simple as 1, you can of course use 1.0, but you can also use this explicit typecasting for more complicated values and expressions. And I just wanted to introduce you
to this notation uh, of implicit and explicit typecasts, please keep in mind that whenever you have a mixed expression like x plus 1, uh, here with x being double and 1 being int, then there is going to be some implicit typecasting. And C tries to guess what you mean. Uh, and if that is correct, great. But sometimes that's not correct. Uh, and we will see some examples of this because this is a source of error. Now let's look at this function again. Once again, we have this very simple mathematical fact that for every x that's a real number, f of x should be greater than x if we are obeying the rules of mathematics. So once again, it may not surprise you that uh, C breaks the rules of mathematics. So I want you to experiment, and here is the uh, link. Uh, so once again, try and see if you can find an x for which f of x is not strictly greater than x. Remember, if it's not strictly greater than x, it could be less than x, which is what we saw with integers, or it could be equal to x. Uh, now, again, that doesn't make sense from the mathematics side. But remember, C and mathematics are not exactly the same. So I want you to experiment and see if you can find such an X that breaks mathematics.